Hello and welcome to the Mind Department Podcast. I am your host, Milandrotic, and I'm excited to share my passion for mindfulness and personal growth with you. In this episode, I will talk about Talk Your Spirit Guide. But before we dive in, I want to invite you to subscribe to this podcast channel so you never miss an episode. And by subscribing, you will have access to all of our past and future episodes. And you will be part of a growing community of like-minded individuals who are committed to personal growth and empowerment. So if you're ready to take your life to the next level, hit the subscribe button now. Now, let's get started with today's episode, Talk Your Spirit Guide. Welcome to the world of spirit guides. Many people believe that we have all spiritual beings assigned to guide us through life, but communicating with them can be challenging. However, connecting with your spirit guide can bring you a deeper understanding of yourself and help you navigate to complexities of life with clarity and purpose. In this episode, we will explore the concept of spirit guides, how to identify your own, and most importantly, how to talk to them. Whether you are a seasoned spiritual practitioner or new to the concept, this episode will provide you with the tools and knowledge to establish a meaningful and fulfilling connection with your spirit guide. So let's dive in and start exploring the world of spirit guides together. First of all, the concept of spirit guides. Let's see it together. The concept of spirit guide dates back centuries and is found in many cultures and spiritual traditions around the world. Spirit guides are believed to be spiritual beings that are assigned to us at birth to guide and assist us through our lives. They are said to be highly evolved beings who have the ability to communicate with us through intuition dreams and signs. Some people believe that we each have one main spirit guide, while others believe we have several guides that come and go as we need them. These guides may take the form of angels, ancestors, animal spirits, or other beings. The purpose of a spirit guide is to provide us with guidance, wisdom, and support as we navigate the challenge and the opportunities of life. They may help us make important decisions, provide comfort during difficult times, or other insight into our deepest desires and passions. Connecting with your spirit guide can be a deeply personal and transformative experience. It requires an open mind and willingness to trust your intuition and the willingness to let go of control. By developing a relationship with your spirit guide, you can tap into a source of wisdom and guidance that can help you live a more fulfilling and purposeful life. If you're interested in exploring the concept of spirit guides further, there are many resources available online and in books that can help you get started. With time to end practice, you may find that connecting with your spirit guide becomes a powerful tool for personal growth and spiritual development. But let's see together how to identify your spirit guide. Identifying your spirit guide can be a deeply personal and intuitive process. Here are some steps you can take to help you identify your spirit guide. First of all, develop your intuition. The first step in connecting with your spirit guide is really to develop your intuition. That means learning to trust your inner voice and paying attention to the signs and messages that come to you through dreams, meditation, or everyday experiences. Second step is to set an intention, because setting intention to connect with your spirit guide is to be open and receptive to any message or sign that come your way. Third step, pay attention to patterns and synchronicities. In fact, your spirit guide may communicate with you through patterns and synchronicities. Pay attention to recurring numbers, symbols or animals that appear in your life. Another step is ask for a sign. Ask your spirit guide to give you a sign that they are with you. It could be something as simple as a feather or a coin that you find in your unusual place or a sound and something else. Next step is meditate. 
Meditate regularly to quiet your mind and connect with your inner self. In fact, during meditation, you can ask your spirit guide to reveal themselves to you. I, for example, made in this way. The next step is trust your instincts. Trust your instinct and follow your intuition. Your spirit guide may communicate with you through your good feeling or through sudden insight or inspiration. And then last step is keep a journal. In fact, keep a journal to record your experiences and any message or sign that you receive can help you to identify patterns and gain a deeper understanding of your connection with your spirit guide. And remember at the end that identify your spirit guide is a personal journey and may take time and patience. Be open and receptive to the process and trust that your spirit guide will reveal themselves to you in their own time and when and when will be the right time for you to receive the connection. Let's see together now how to connect practically your spirit guide. So, connecting with your spirit guide can be a transformative experience that can provide you with guidance and support on your spiritual journey. Here are some additional tips on how to connect with your spirit guide. First of all, create a secret space. Create a peaceful and quiet space where you can meditate or connect with your spirit guide. It's a fantastic way to make the process more quick. This space can be a room in your home or a garden or any place that feels calming and nurturing to you. Second one is use visualization. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you connect with your spirit guide. Close your eyes simple and imagine yourself in a peaceful and serene environment. Visualize a light surrounding you and invite your spirit guide to join you in this space. As use this visualization tool a lot of time every day and it works so well and so powerful. Third, third way, practice gratitude. Practice gratitude for the presence of your spirit guide in your life. Express your gratitude through prayer, meditation, or simply acknowledging the presence in your life help you to connect more closely to your spirit guide and make possible that your spirit guide will be more present in your life. Next tool is to pay attention to your dreams. In fact, your spirit guide may communicate with you through your dreams. Keep in dream journal and record any message or symbol that appear in your dreams. The next possibility is to use divination tools. Divination tools such as tarot card or pendulums can be useful in connecting with your spirit guide. Use this tool to ask your spirit guide for guidance and insight. Personally, I work a lot with pendulum. It works very well for me. And the next and last tool is to be patient. In fact, connecting with your spirit guide may take time and patience. Be open and receptive to the process and task that your spirit guide will reveal themselves to you in their own time and way. Remember that connecting to, to them is a personal and unique experience. In fact, experiment with different techniques and approaches until you find what works best for you. For me, visualization and pendulum work very well. With time and practice, you may find that your connection with your spirit guide becomes a source for guidance and inspiration of your life. Now, let's say a tool, a practical tool that may quickly uh, connection with your spirit guide, free spiritual advisors. Free spiritual advisors can provide a wealth to benefit to, of, to individuals who seek spiritual guidance and support. Here are some of benefits of working with a spiritual advisor, for example, like I am, because th this benefit make you feel more, um, more trust in your spiritual guide and connect to them more faster. So the benefits are that access to guidance and support. In fact, spiritual spiritual advisor can provide guidance and support to you on a wide range of spiritual and personal issues by connecting to their own spiritual guide and to your own through their support and the connection with spiritual guide. And offer inside a guidance on how to overcome challenge and obstacles in your life. Second benefit is to not judge mental support. In fact, spirit spiritual advisor are trained to provide no huge mental support and compassion. For example, I provide a safe and confident space 
where you can share your concert and challenges without fear of judgment. That is so important because you have, you must feel safe and relaxed. The third benefit is increased self-awareness. Working with a free spiritual advice core can help you gain a deeper understanding on yourself and your inner world. They can help you identify patterns and beliefs that may be holding you back and provide tools and techniques for personal growth and self-improvement. Then, spiritual growth and development is a notable benefit. In fact, a spiritual advisor can help you explore your spiritually and develop a deeper connection with your inner self in the universe. In fact, they can provide insight and practices to help you develop your spiritual practice and belief. Next benefit is to improve well-being. In fact, the work with the spiritual advisor can improve your overall well-being by reducing stress, anxiety, and depression. In fact, they can provide tools and techniques for relaxation, mindfulness, and self-care. And the, normally, the first consulting is free of charge. In fact, one, this is of one of the most significant benefits of working with a free spiritual advisor. The first connection is feeling of charge. That means that you can assess spiritual guidance and support without worrying about the cost. I work always with a free consulting at first, a deep free consulting, because each person is different. And when you connect with me, I want to meet you, meet your inner challenge, meet what is important for you, what is challenge for you in this particular moment of your life to find the best solution for you that is not the same of another person. It is custom made to you. To your needs so it's so important to have a free consulting at first in conclusion fear spiritual advisor can provide a wide range of benefit for individuals seeking spiritual guidance and support and offer a safe and confidential space for exploring your belief and challenges and can provide tools and techniques for personal growth spiritual development and improve well-being now conclude this episode in conclusion uh, i have to tell you that connecting with your spirit guide can be a transformative experience that can provide you with guidance and support on your spiritual journey. By following the step outlined in this episode, such as developing your intuition, paying attention to patterns and synchronicities, meditating, you can be begin to connect with your spirit guide and receive insight and guidance on your path. Remember that identifying and connecting with your spirit guide is a personal journey and may take time and patience. Be open and receptive to the process. Trust your instinct and use your techniques that work best for you is so important. With time and practice, you may find that your connection become a source of inspiration and guidance in your life. And lastly, don't forget that there are also free spiritual advisors who can provide guidance and support on your spiritual journey. This advisor offers a safe and non judgmental space when you can explore your beliefs and challenges and provide tools and techniques for personal growth and spiritual development. Regardless of the path you choose, connecting with your spirit guide can be a powerful tool for receiving greater clarity peace and purpose in your life. So if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a review. Tell me your, what you're thinking about and share it with your friends and family to help them too. And your support means a war for me and it helped me spread my message and empowerment to more possible people. In the description of this post, you find a lot of uh, helpful link and you can use to empower your life from now. See you to the next podcast. Thank you for listening.